In this video, we will show you how to replace your Bank 2 Sensor 1 Upstream O2 sensor on this Toyota Sienna with a 3.5 liter engine. This will be located along the front of your engine compartment. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. Locate your Bank 2 Sensor 1 O2 sensor located directly on the manifold close to your radiator fan. If you were to follow the wire, you'll find that it goes across the top of your upper radiator hose, makes its way under along the side of the engine, and you can see that wiring harness. There's a blue wire moving around under there. This is where we're going to start our removal process. We're going to have to reach down with our second hand, and you're going to find the opposite part of the wiring harness. This is the portion that will have a locking tab right where my index finger is. We're going to have to press on this. As you're pressing on it, lightly tug on the O2 sensor wiring harness and disconnect it. Once you do have it disconnected, you want to give it a quick inspection for corrosion. That one looks good. Now we'll be following that wiring harness to its next mounting point. Typically, you're going to find some sort of mount that goes around that upper radiator hose holding this wiring harness in place. It looks as though whatever was there more than likely broke and somebody used a wire tie. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim that off of here and we'll replace it with another wire tie as necessary. Dispose of that. Now let's gain focus down on the exhaust manifold so we can start removing that Bank 2 upstream O2 sensor. To remove the O2 sensor, we'll be using an O2 sensor socket. Make our way right down onto that and turn this counterclockwise. Once it's broken free, we should be able to carefully remove that from the pipe. There it is, friend. With the O2 sensor out of the exhaust manifold, the next thing you need to do is clean and inspect the mounting area. We'll use a small piece of fine sandpaper. Confirm there's no miscellaneous debris or raised areas. Now it's time to install our Bank 2 Sensor 1 O2 sensor. We'll start this in by hand. Once you have that started in by hand, you can snug it up and torque this to 30 foot pounds. Now it's time for the electrical connector. We're going to take this entire wiring harness and bring it right back through the same position as where we had removed it, along the top of the radiator hose. Now looking in here, I can see the other portion of that connector. We're going to align the locking tab. Looking at the connector that's on the O2 sensor wiring harness, we have our locking tab here. That'll face towards the driver's side of the vehicle. Press it in, listen for a click. Once you do hear that click, Give it a little tug to make sure it's secured. If this isn't properly secured, you're going to have a check engine light. Once you've secured that, we also need to secure the wiring harness to that upper radiator hose, the same place that you had removed it. Essentially, we're trying to make it so there's no way the wiring harness can get damaged while you're driving down the road. We'll trim off the excess. Okay friend, we finished the installation of our Bank 2 Sensor 1 Upstream O2 sensor. At this point, you can go ahead and close the hood, take your vehicle for a road test, and make sure you have no check engine light. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.